Charlotte also caught up with the French Labour Minister, Olivier Dussop, who says the economic and social needs of the French people remain the same. I think what's helpful is being as factual and objective as possible. The results of the legislative elections marked at the same time a victory for the majority, with a relative majority, but a victory nonetheless, coming after the victory of the president, which in turn is a victory for a project that he led and that we put into play. But beyond the election results, the needs and analysis remain the same. What are these needs and priorities? To have a fairer system with better and higher pensions and also a system that takes better into account how physically demanding some jobs are and how precarious they are. And the need for a financially balanced system because it will allow it to last because today it's unbalanced and we need to redress that. The reform agenda and the reforms of the labour laws were crucial in Emmanuel Macron's first mandate. Is pushing through the pension reform now also symbolic, a way to signify that this reform agenda is still alive? It's a big reform agenda, a very important one, and I think French people have made a choice of re-electing Emmanuel Macron and another one at the legislatives to have a more diverse parliament, but certainly not the choice of immobility. And you're right to talk about several reforms of labour, of employment. It's not only pension reform. We have an objective of full employment with the reform of work integration by developing apprenticeships and professional training to improve conditions and quality of life at work. It includes health at work and prevention and better taking into account how physically demanding a job may be. There is a huge amount of labour reforms that we share with our social partners. Pension reform is a major one as it affects every single one of us and our living conditions, as well as other elements as well. Beyond the question of age, like fairness about the minimum pension level, the conditions of women with regards to pension calculations, but also other important debates that we will discuss with management and labour on end-of-career arrangements, on transmission and working conditions for seniors.